Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Friday, April 22nd, 2022. A super rare Friday episode with apparently lots of unwanted guests. What's going on? What is going on out there? I think they have expired. I think all the skeletons have expired. So that's good. But also exciting. Very exciting. The cat seems not to be that impressed. I think the cat is just waiting for the cord. So let's let's get the cord, feed the cat and get ready for the continuation of the construction of the Salmon Monument. Ah, Cat is looking at me. Here, have you caught? Are you... Are you happy? Yes, yes. Cat, Cat purse. Cat is happy. Let's step outdoors. Get the sword ready in case one of the unwanted guests has not expired. But it looks good. It looks good. So let's open the gates, jump on the horse and ride to the sheep pen first, I guess. I was considering going to the mountain home first, but no, I think I will have a quick visit at the, the sheep pen shear the sheep before continuing to the mountain home. Today I like to gather lots of wool and also continue to give the recap of the, of the Easter break. The cool Easter break, the very relaxing Easter break. We stopped right into the middle of it last time, so today I like to continue with, continue with that. Also after the Easter break, I really feel even more motivated than usually to continue playing here in the Coffee Break world, to continue constructing, designing the Salmon Monument. Yeah, lots of reasons, lots of reasons to be here on a very rare Friday. That's cool, that's exciting. So wait. No, that, that's all right. That's all right. That gravel is there. I'm, I'm always, always suspicious that there are some some enderman holes. I need to fix those crazy guys. I mean, this this could also be a block placed by an enderman. Most likely, it was a block placed by an enderman. I'm not quite sure if this always was like like that or if it has been changed. I mean, over here, over here, this definitely looks like like an uh, Enderman effect. Oh man, those guys. Let's fix that one. The cave, the cave is natural. This is so confusing. <laughs> I'm always getting confused by by those holes in the environment where I often think, hmm, is it really natural or has some weird Enderman? messed with my environment like over here or so so yeah um we we finished or we rather stopped right in, in the middle of hmm, of last epi uh, of the of the easter break with friday friday where i enjoyed enjoyed the the chicken dinner well in this case it was chicken lunch but still, very, very delicious. Friday was a good day. Every day was a good day. On uh, Saturday, we we did a trip. We did a trip to the North Ostsee Canal. Can be translated to North Sea, Baltic Sea Channel, I guess. So um, that's that's a specific canal that was dug out to have a connection between the Baltic Sea and the North Sea 
through Germany, so that ships aren't required to sail all around Denmark to get from the North Sea to the, the Baltic Sea. Now there's this this canal going through Germany and um, yeah, big ships. Big ships are using that canal to get from one sea to the other sea. This is pretty cool, especially when you stand right at the banks of that that canal and you see those ginormous ships. That, that's, that's always exciting. So yeah, we, we made a trip there and we were lucky. There were lots of ships this day, so lots of excitement. There will be also a video of that trip to, to the Nord Ostsee Canal. Not entirely sure when it will be released on my on my other YouTube channel because I still have to edit it and I'm um, not quite sure when I will get to it because now unfortunately back to work and uh, yeah this this reduces <laughs> this reduces the time I do have at my no 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 you stay in there at my disposal so yeah we will see we will see but Definitely there will be there will be a video, so then you can also see the ships. Also it was very interesting because since the ships are rather big and the the canal is rather narrow, sometimes the the crew can't really see the the water from the from the bridge, so the ship is just too big that they can't really see where they're going and for this they need some help so there are some some pilots that jump on the ships and help them guide them through the uh, through the canal since we were right in the center of the canal there's a pilot station where the pilots get exchanged so one pilot is basically responsible for ooh, for one side of the canal the other on the for the opposite side of the uh, canal and so yeah they they just get there with those little pilot boats climb up ladders to get on board of the ship and have an exchange there so the the big ship continues and the pilots are getting ex exchanged that this is super cool was very exciting to to watch them doing their job so this was this was truly truly exciting and interesting to watch interesting to experience yeah very very cool day nice nice weather that day so yeah saturday saturday also was a great day seeing lots of big ships seeing some some pilot boat action Seeing them climb up some some ladders to get on board of the ship. That was cool. That was very exciting. Then Sunday. Easter. Very cool. Some uh, chocolate egg punch. Very delicious. Always very delicious. Which reminds me, today I was at the grocery store to... Well, get some new groceries and I totally forgot to check whether they do have some leftovers from the Easter chocolate with a discount because th th this is always a, a great opportunity after after Christmas and after Easter grabbing lots of chocolate for half the price or so I totally forgot this one I totally forgot this one because uh, I, I just did this trip to the grocery store during my lunch break today and um, yeah, it well, was not a very long lunch break, so it was more in a hurry and I totally forgot about this one. But I remember to bring the, the most important essential things I, I really needed to buy, like some onions, like some oil, like some eggs, not chocolate eggs, chicken eggs though. So uh, yeah, totally forgot that one. but. I still do have some some chocolate eggs left from from Easter, which is cool. Also, which was very funny. Uh, my 
parents got me a very little Lego. Was it always like that? Oh, those Endermen. A little Lego airplane. So this, this was then my, my activity for the for the afternoon after we had a very delicious dinner. So it was similar to the usual Christmas tradition. I told you that story so many times. My mom and I were preparing the, the feast for, for Easter, similar to Christmas. This time we had some uh, a lamp roast, which was also very delicious second time meat. So uh, yeah, two times meat while I was at my parents uh, to well, celebrate Easter. This time the, the meat also, the lamb was also from, from the same from the same um, farm shop. So yeah, also the thing that, that I could enjoy was a clear conscience, so to say. And uh, yeah, prepared that one. Very delicious, as I said, after, after, after that delicious lamb roast constructed that airplane and had some fun. So yeah, th th this was cool. A great and relaxing day. Similar on Monday. Monday also is a bank holiday here in Germany. So continue with the Easter break. Oh, I, I forgot one, one important thing. On uh, Saturday after we returned from the Nord Ostsee Canal, there's also a tradition in Germany, in the entire German spoken countries. Maybe even further, I'm not quite sure, but there, there's a tradition that people do a bonfire at the in the evening of Saturday before Easter. I guess it's about scaring off all those those winter ghosts and winter spirits and so on. I personally find this very sad because I enjoy winter. I would rather say, hey, Winter spirits, please, please stay here. Don't, don't leave us. I need more winter. I need more cool temperatures. Anyway, so yeah, we we had we have a little fireplace at, right at the terrace, and so we also did our very own Easter bonfire Saturday evening. Also cool, nice to watch. It's every time very exciting when there are some dried branches from from the Christmas season. I really do have some some very dry I need I need more red again, dang it. When you do have very dry spruce branches and you put them into the fire and they basically explode. <laughs> so it's such such a strong and heavy and rapid fire. So th this really shows you how careful you need to be during the Christmas time when you do have a real tree inside of your house. That this tree is getting enough water and is not drying out because otherwise this, wow, this, this, this tree almost explodes. <laughs> so this is, this is always, well, fascinating, crazy to, to watch, to experience. And um, yeah, so Monday, Monday also very relaxing day as said. Okay, so here I can get up again. So now I can use the pink wool here. And there, well, also, hmm. no, this this is not a good idea because then I can't clamp over. I need to get here in the end, or I need to build my scaffolding. Okay, let's let's just let's just put this this pink wool into the chest and um, get some more get some more poppies. I need more red. So yeah, mon Monday also. 
relaxing day, bank holiday. In the, the morning I went for a run, which was nice. Run for before breakfast. And then we had a very good big breakfast. In the afternoon after another feast to to lunch. Then we had a very good vegetable mix, which was very cool. And um Yeah, so so Monday also very very relaxing day, very nice day. Just uh, spent the, the the afternoon outdoors, watching some YouTube on my tablet, and um, yeah, it was was also I said very relaxing day. So Tuesday, another quality day with my with my parents lots of fun there and uh, yeah this brings us to Wednesday so basically the, the the most of the things over the Easter break we're just spending quality time with my with my parents doing a few trips doing some even some sport together cooking eating relaxing and yeah Wednesday Wednesday unfortunately had to drive home as told in the last episode so the ride back home was was all right of course not as, as smooth as the the ride to my parents so there, there was a little bit more traffic but over time the the traffic calmed down because it got later in the day and toward the evening i was well not completely alone but there was not much traffic left anymore so th then it was good but the beginning there were so many trucks this was was a little bit too much, too much trucks, as the the autobahn has three lanes and one and a half lanes were just filled with trucks. So, yeah, for for the normal traffic, there was just the other half of the the autobahn left, and this was not. Th this always results in some some struggles and some slow drivers driving. On the on the fastest lane basically and you can't overtake them because they see your truck way ahead of them so this this really takes some time but yeah made made at home and now i'm unfortunately back to work so the craziness continues the craziness is back i was right with my bed i, I, I was not even i, I was even quite far off with my bed so instead of 100 emails i got 170 emails in my inbox this took some time to to thought through and to delete all the emails that weren't important and to then later on read all the emails that were important so yeah what, what was a busy first day and also a busy second day because then the the meetings started to pile up. So many people wanted to talk to me. That was also crazy. <laughs> just just got back home from, or got back to work from the holidays, and so many people wanted to, to talk to me because things need to be clarified and so on. So yeah, drastic, drastic, and quick and instant return to work. Unfortunately, luckily. There are some some bank holidays coming up soon. I already checked the calendar. June, May. I think the second half of May and early June is quite cool, as there are three weeks in a row, three weekends weekends in a, in a row that do have a bank holiday either directly adjacent to the weekend or with a with a day in between so it's it's ideal to to take the day off and the day be between and uh, yeah there will be there will be several weekends several extended weekends and this already gives me hope this gives me hope that things things will improve and um, that i do have 
some time to escape this craziness for a little bit longer than a normal weekend. That that's good. That's that's already promising. I just have to to take the days off. So I guess the next time I get to to the office, that's that's what I need to do first. Taking days off that, uh, or well, filling in those days I like to take off, that I then really can use them to my full to to their full potential. Those ex those extended weekends. And uh, yeah, so th this brings us brings us to to today. It feels like after having now done this entire recap of the Easter break, nothing really has happened. I mean, in the end, my parents and I agreed that hey, we did so many things, and true, we we did lots of things, but now after talking about it, it feels rather humble, like, okay, we, we did a few trips here and there and so on. But yeah, overall, it, it was just, everything was cool. And um, it, I, th I think it was just the just combination, just the combination of all those things that, that made it really cool and special. So, yeah. Fully, fully enjoyed this one, fully enjoyed this Easter break. And I hope you also enjoyed the, the story of it. And I hope you also had a great Easter break and a great time. Let me know what, what have you done? What have you done over the, the Easter break? How did you celebrate this this holiday? What have you done? Have you have you received some some good some uh, good good chocolate Easter eggs? Do you do you get gifts for on Easter? How how's how's life <laughs> with you in, in your region around Easter? What are you doing during Easter over the Easter time? Let me know. I'm I'm really curious about this. And while I'm saying this, I can also do my my usual my usual thing. Hey, hey! I, I got stuck. I got stuck on this on this uh, post where I secure the horse every time. I I wanted to save that that zombie. I wanted to to leave it alive, but no. He started to pummel me, so now now I had to to deal with that guy. Ooh, creeper! Creeper and tall grass. Spider. So many things going on. Let's let's avoid that creeper. I don't want to have another explosion. And uh, yeah, I, I wanted to say, also, if you do have a question or something I could discuss, please let me know in the comment section. I really sometimes need need new topics, new things to talk about. Things I wouldn't normally talk about or so or a new topic or something something exciting so yeah please please let me know if you do have something some suggestions for topics questions i should answer that would be cool so yeah please please feel free to use the comment section for for some suggestions and uh yeah th this concludes this concludes this episode Made some good progress with uh, with salmon. I'm I'm really happy. We still need lots of more wool, so maybe I need to breed the sheep at some point, or I need to return to the to the mountain sheep, or hunt some wild sheep, sheer wild sheep. Really surprised that I need so much wool for, for all the salmon monument, but that's all right. We have our time, and we can use this time to um, yeah talk talk about exciting things as the Easter break or so. So yeah. This concludes this episode. I will now prepare my lunch because at the time of this recording it is already evening. So yeah, Friday evening for me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I am looking forward to my dinner. And with this, I hope I see you again and next time, Sunday. So not not a very long time to wait until the next episode. 
Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Seppi. See you! Thank you.